Sometimes people call it a pass spot. Okay, or an elbow pass. So again, he comes up to the collar. He brings his hand. I take my thumb on the outside. I take my fingers on the inside. I turn my toes and hit my pivot the exact same way I did it. Only this time, I want to put his elbow and his hand towards the mat. Oh, so I hit my pivot. I'm going to bring him down. If I bring him down, he's not going to have enough lateral movement to get away from me. If I turn and I throw his elbow in front of me, I am taking him towards his toes, and he can just run right away from me. He can just run right away from me. This out. When I take this elbow control, my right shoulder is trapping his wrist, and I'm putting a torque on his wrist right now. Now, when I turn my toes and hit my pivot, you know, my shoulder is automatically going to point down. So his hand is already leaning down, and now my hand follows his elbow down towards the mat. So when I shuck and pick, I take the elbow control, I turn my toes, I bring it down, and then I want to attack. My arm's on the wrong side, I backstroke, and I'm landing on his legs, and I'm in a good position for an ankle. Now, it's going to work that easy all the time. Of course, it's here. Of course not. But that's where we should end up if we do everything right. So I'm on elbow control. Once again, I'm trying to do it slow. I pivot, I turn my toes, I shuck him down, and I attack. I back stroke, I slide my shoulder down, knee over knee, and I have my ankle legs. Now, if he does a little bit of a better job of keeping his balance, it's going to happen in here. Because my arm's automatically going to fall on the floor. If he is really, really fast, and really, really strong, and I hit this pivot, and I don't get a lot of motion, he squares up. Now I'm going the opposite side. Now I'm going to wrap arm the opposite side. Hopefully I get back from there. So those are your two options on shuffle pick.